Hello everyone and welcome to another update from the FNS ecosystem. Today I want to take a look at AVOware. We've mentioned AVOware here and there before but we've never done a really deep look. While in the meantime AVOware has grown into quite a big platform with multiple things going on. So let's take this moment to really dive into it. First thing you see when you come to the homepage is the farms. AVOware is available on multiple farms and they all emit AVE as a reward. Farms work very similar to how you use it from other applications. The AVOware network uses Pangolin liquidity tokens to farm, um, so if you want to participate you've got to get your pool tokens from Pangolin. But there's a very easy shortcut to do so, you can just go to manage liquidity on a farm. And you'll see it will automatically load both of the tokens, it's very easy. Then AVOware also has a launchpad with just initial farming offerings. The first ever project that they launched this way was Cabbage Cash. That pool is now finished, so if you're still in it like me you need to withdraw your tokens and claim your cabbage. And if you want to visit the Cabbage Cap website, you can use the link in the About section. Then one of the things that has been doing really well recently is the NFT section. As you can see, the two latest NFTs that have been released, Simon the Sherpa and The Trading Joe, have both sold out. One really cool thing about these NFTs is that many represent a project that's actually live on the seed chain. So we've got the Canary Exchange here, of course Sherpa, we've got Penguin. And um, we've got Yeti, which is uh, from Snowball. One other cool thing about these NFTs is that they will slowly emit rewards uh, from the related project as well. We've talked about AveDice before, but it's also a product of the Averware network. I prefer using the uh, font screen rather than the simple screen, but essentially it's a simple numbers game where essentially you pick a winning chance, and then how much you stand to win is related to how much you put in. So for example, I set myself a 25% win chance. Uh, if I win, I get a payout that's almost four times the amount that I put in in the first place. Next up is Avalanche Today. Now, Avalanche Today is a favorite of mine for the news articles it posts. Uh, sometimes it does some very good deep dive articles, which are very good to read, so definitely recommend you to follow them. Often they're also quite early to some of the big news, um, so definitely worth a follow in my opinion. And then finally, something that's quite exciting is the Tip Blue bot that's also by the AVOR network. The bot will be integrated with Twitter and Discord, for example, and it enables essentially tipping each other over Twitter and Discord. We've already got a little sneak peek of what the interface will look like. Essentially, you'll be able to take multiple tokens within the Avalanche ecosystem and send them to each other as a tip. I really think it has the ability to elevate some of the online interactions we have within the Avalanche ecosystem. The blue will come with its own blue token which you'll be able to farm just like you were able to farm cabbage cash. Uh, so very risk free and then you can use the blue token later to pay for the transaction fees for tipping uh, or for some other cool features such as making it rain. But that's it for the Averware network for now. Definitely keep an eye on it because I have the impression that they're very ambitious and I wouldn't be surprised if we were going to see a lot more cool stuff coming from them. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in another one. And goodbye.